What's up vendors, Cosmic Vending back with another video. Uh, happy Memorial Day to everyone and hopefully you all had a safe, fun weekend. In today's video I'm going to show you how to switch out your coin mechs. Today we're going to be switching from 25 cents to 50 cents. Um, you can go 75 to a dollar, the process is pretty much the same. And I'm also going to be showing you how to switch out your lock on your gumball and candy machines. So I'm going to show you how to switch out your coin mechs. It's a very easy process. But the most important thing you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you're ordering the correct coin mech that fits your machine. Uh, I got mine on candymachines.com and they have a few that are like a universal that fit multiple machines. But do your research and find out which coin mech is going to fit your machine. So once you have the correct coin mech, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is take apart the machine. Just like you were going to collect the money um, from the bottom. And then essentially the coin mech is just going to slide straight up and out. Uh, you can see the little indentations, the little grooves on the side. Uh, that's going to be important for putting the new coin mech in. You can see the little ind indentations on the coin mech. Um, but it's really that simple. Just slide straight up. And then make sure on your new coin mech you find the little grooves on the side. And it's just going to fit right back into place. And you're just going to slide that into those grooves. Now obviously not every machine is going to look the same. Not every coin mech is built the same. But essentially, it's the same process, so if yours looks a little bit different than mine, don't worry, it's the same process. You're just going to slide the old coin mech off and slide the new one on. It's very simple. So once you get the coin mech on there correctly, just slide the canister back on and make sure that fits on there correctly. So as long as the canister fits on and everything's lined up, then that means you got the right coin mech and everything should be good to go. One thing worth noting is there are a few different types of 50 cent coin mechs. Mine you can put a quarter on the left and the right and then turn the handle. Some of them out there you can only put one quarter in and then turn the handle and then you put another one in and turn the handle again. So on your 50 cent mechs I recommend choosing a 50 cent sticker that gives a little indicator or hint on how to use the machine. Not every customer is going to be familiar with the 50 cent coin mech and how to operate it so anything that you can do to minimize that confusion or doubt is going to help your business and help improve sales. Next I'm going to show you how to put a new lock on your machine. Maybe you had to drill the old one out or you bought a machine from somebody and you just want to put your own lock on there for security reasons. It's a very simple straightforward process. All you have to do is take the old lock off and put the new one on there and you're good to go. Now the only thing you just want to be aware of is when you're ordering new locks do a little bit of research again and just make sure you're buying one that's compatible with your machine. Um, even though most of them are pretty much the same and universal, just do a little research and make sure you buy the right one. And I think that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody out there. If there's anything else you want to see, any questions you have, or you just want to say hey, let me know down in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. I'm going to have more content coming as well as some collection videos, so stay tuned. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.